our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Ngannou is eight years his senior. He weighed in at 250 pounds even. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It is... Championship of the world. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 210 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Presenting the challenger, the great. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pockets. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. There. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Plus right hand is true. Oh, single collar tie here. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Beautiful punch. Look at him drive his shin and just hold his body with that body kick. Nice straight right lance. Oh, Superman punch. Three minutes now to go in this one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, huge left hand for Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds it. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. He's out! Was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Green. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.